Hi everybody, Erica Serwin here and I am bringing you your three projects for my Facebook Friday, but it's not live today. I just couldn't make it work this week with the live, so I recorded, I've squeezed in some recording time, and I hope this will um, tide you over until the next Facebook Live. My focus today is the upcoming Easter Palace Suite. And if you haven't heard already, Stamping Up is releasing one of its suite of projects that will be in the annual catalog that comes out June 1st, and they're releasing it in May. So it'll be available to everybody May 1st. Um, um, if you're a demonstrator, you that's how I already have it. We got early uh, access to it. So I got in, of course, I wanted to make some things for you to see. Um, but I'm going to put a link on this post, if you're watching this on Facebook. I'm going to put a link on this post to this so you can see the, the price list. There are bundle prices that you can order all of this out on. And you get, uh, there's some free items too, um, depending on which bundle you get. So let me talk to you a little bit about the bundle. It's called the Eastern Beauty. This is the stamp set and these are the framelits. And I'm gonna show you the framelits in more detail in just a minute, but they're very different than anything that we've had. And it really took some playing around um, on my part to really kind of figure out how cool they are. So that's the bundle. The really fun part of this bundle that you can buy on May 1st is that you get access to our new in colors. So if you haven't seen our new in colors yet, let me introduce you. This is Fresh Fig, Lemon Lime Twist, which is my favorite, and we've got, ah, I'm forgetting, Powder Pink, I can't remember, forgive me guys if I don't remember the name, um, Tranquil Tide, and Berry Burst. Now three of these colors, are in this suite of products that you can order, um, which means that you can also order the cardstock and the stamp pads, which is, I think, the best part of this bundle is the early access to these three in colors. Um, they're very regal and uh, just beautiful, beautifully rich colors. The paper looks like this. Now, unfortunately, I have cut into mine so much that this is all I have left of the fresh fig. So one thing I really like to do when I use papers is to pick out the, the more solid colors. I like to use just one or two colors. Um, and so each one has a side that I prefer. This one definitely, the fresh fig, it's like a solid um, with, a, with a very light uh, pattern in it. The other one is more of a uh, fussy pattern. Then this is probably my favorite pattern of the whole paper, the little polka dot. And there's another one on the back. So as I go through, you can see the other color in here is Dapper Denim, which you probably already have. If not, it's already available to order. Um, here's one of the Tranquil Tides. It's a very rich, regal looking um, green, uh, turquoise, not turquoise, teal, more teal. And then you get, so you get two each of those. There's the other sides. But you also get a full sheet of the gold embossed uh, paper and this other one that is also embossed in gold. So that is part of that bundle. Also, there is a tassel option. Aren't they adorable? They, I think you get 12 in a pack. And these really cool um, stickers, what do they call them? Uh, they're called vinyl stickers okay so they're really neat i'm going to show you a way to use one of them today so check out the link that i post so you can go and see all the products that will be available to you on may 1st all right so let's get busy let's make some projects i think we're going to start with the one that is my favorite color lemon lime twist and i have paired it with another one of my favorite colors which is melon mambo all right, so we're gonna do some of the die cutting first because I wanna show you how interesting these um, framelits are. When you typically get a framelit, you expect to get exactly the shape that is cut out. So we're gonna start with this one, and you would think that it's gonna cut out this flower, right? Well, no, it does not. It actually does kind of an inlay cut. All right, so let me show you this. This kind of blew my mind the first time I did it. So look at that. Isn't that kind of cool? Yeah, okay, so what if you want to cut it out? Well, the this one is easy. You can just cut these little slits right here, these little, just a tiny little snip between each of the petals. 
or you can pair it with some of your other framelits. One set of framelits I think that goes really well with this set is the layering circles. So when I run it through, typically I can run those through at the exact same time. But since we already put the circle on, I mean, since we already did the little flowers, we're gonna go ahead and do the circle again. But to save yourself um, a, a run through the big shot, just do them at the same time. Okay, so there we have our first layer. Now I've done a little bit of cutting ahead of time just to save us some time. Um, let's see, we're gonna do a circle. I'm gonna lay these together so we remember. We're gonna do a circle, very vanilla circle. Then we're going to do another, I don't know what you call this shape, but it's this one right here. And it has an inlay, if I can remember which one that I used, it's this one, okay? So we're going to put this here, and then this one goes on the inside like that. It's very deceiving when you look at it. You're not quite sure exactly what it's gonna cut out because of all those, those holes, those circles. But those circles are to help you get the framelit off the paper. All right, so let's pull all these apart so you can see how that did, that cut in just a really fancy little inlay. Okay, so now I'm gonna use one of my stamps. There's some really neat stamps on here that you need to play with to figure out where they go. This one right here is the one that I'm using. And I'm gonna use Melon Mambo. And I'm gonna very carefully, hopefully, not stick my head in the camera, stamp around like this. All right, easy photopolymer stamps you can see exactly where you're stamping oh let's leave that open now I'm using the sentiment from this set also I love the script of these sentiments they are really pretty this one is just says thank you and I did it on our little circle all right now let's layer them and I want to take I want to make sure that this is that this looks 3d because that's the whole point of these um, framelits is to kind of give you some dimension so I'm gonna lay that here, and I'm gonna start stacking up my shapes. So that is a Melon Mambo circle, and then a very vanilla circle, and then our shape that has no name. I don't know, you guys tell me, what shape is that? I don't know. And I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna stick these guys out again. I want them to pop out a little bit. Just stick your fingernail in there and pop them up. Okay. I'm a little bit off center with that vanilla circle, but I think we'll be just fine. One more dimensional and let's put this one right here. All right, so now we're ready to assemble our card. I love, like I told you, this lemon lime twist is my favorite, new in color. And together with Melon Mambo, I just absolutely love it. And you know what, I think that I cut, I used the wrong piece of cardstock to cut out my pieces. But that's okay, we have a paper trimmer. And we will trim it. Let's see, so see this one right here? Since this is supposed to be my Facebook Live substitution, I'm gonna just not even, I'm not even gonna cut it, cut, edit, edit this out. And we're just gonna, you're just gonna pretend like this is Facebook Live. All right, so this one is three and a fourth by three and a fourth. Now remember, you guys, I always make up project sheets. Whoops, that's the wrong one. I always make up project sheets for my um, Facebook Live, so there will be a project sheet listed for this. It'll have all the dimensions as well as the product numbers and names. And I would like to offer an incentive for this. Unfortunately, I nobody can order these things individually i'd like to order these a bunch of these to thank you, those of you who order um in conjunction with this video but i can't do that they don't we're all under that bundle limit so um i'm going to be offering my favorite packs of dimensionals if you use the hostess code that is listed and i am giving away a prize but I don't know what it is yet, you guys. I know, I don't know. I'm gonna figure that out, and I'm, by the time this video goes live, you'll see. So make sure you check out that link, hop over to my blog. All you have to do is leave your email address and your 
uh, and, and let me know that you've joined my email list and leave your email address. And that's all you have to do and you're entered to win. Last week I gave um, the Shooting Star Bundle and the, which the Starburst Thinlet. I have announced those on my Facebook group, so go look for that. If it was you, I sent you an email, don't worry. All right, there is some very vanilla and gold trim. What do we call this? Natural gold trim. And isn't it cute? I just think it looks like a party. I love those colors so much. Okay, next project, we're gonna do a card. I'm gonna save my favorite one for the end. Now this card I did in the new Berry Burst color. And then I decided I'm going to demonstrate one in Melon Mambo because only demonstrators have access to this new in color. It's not part of the suite. So I didn't want you to feel frustrated. And I also thought it would be a good time to show you how these are compared because on the front of the new catalog, it looks very much like Melon Mambo. Let me see if I can show it right here. Here's my new, oops, I can't show you the inside. My new catalog. Um, if you want to spiral, you have to join my stamp club. Don't even ask me about it. I only give it to my stamp club and my downline, so don't ask because it's a big perk. But anyway, I know you guys are distracted by that. It, look, it's Melon Mambo. All right, so anyway, it looks like Melon Mambo on the front. It's a little bit deceiving, you can see. It's more um, purpley, but still pink. I still really like it. It's a bright, fun, purpley pink. Okay, so let's make this card. And you'll see that I have done two different layers using this um, inlay. We're gonna use, let's see if I remember, this one I think it looks kind of like a soccer ball. But you're also gonna need a circle framelit to go around it because it only will cut out the inside part. All right, and for the card base, we're gonna not use the circle. We're gonna save that for a minute. You'll see what I mean in just a second. All right, let me get everything situated. Okay, now one thing that I do wanna say is I am still old school and I like to use a dryer sheet for these um, intricate dies. I really do. I mean, yes, we have the precision base plate and it's wonderful, but I will tell you that when you use the uh, dryer sheet, all those little bits will stick and it's so nice. All right, let me turn it around. Of course, I always put it backwards. All right, so when you just use that little circle, the little circle by itself, you can see that it's only gonna cut out those pieces, okay? It's not gonna cut out the edge. But here on the card base, that's what we want it to do. We're gonna do a few of these, run them through. And when you have that dryer sheet, you can really just move them around. You don't have to take anything out. Let's see, let's do one more right here. I did four little soccer balls. All right, so we're gonna pull this, and there we have. See, you still need your, your dye brush, because not all of them will come out. But for the most part, the dryer sheet will hold on to those little doodads. All right, now we need, let me show you the sample again. We need some that are gonna be on the top. So that's when we're gonna take our circle framelit and the little soccer ball, and we're gonna put that around it because we want it to cut these out this time. Let's see, get my magnetic plate. Uh oh, we better make sure they're centered. That won't be very pretty. Hi. Okay, come on. Come on, magnetic sheet. You know what the problem is? I need to turn this over. It's a little bit bowed. Okay, guys, this is supposed to be Facebook Live. I'm not going to edit. You're getting the real thing here. Let's just hope I don't stamp upside down again today. Boy, look at that. It's a little bit uneven. Let's see. Oh, no, nope, it's perfect. It just shifted at the end. Okay, so there we go. And I did a few of these ahead of time, so we're only going to do one. Okay, move this big shot out of the way for now. And let's put our card together. So here's our card front. And we actually need another piece of 
Melon Mambo, which I didn't cut. So let's use this. Let's see, will this cover these? Mm, for the most part, why don't we do like this? We'll do these up here. You're saying, what is she talking about? Well, I wanna to back to this. Okay, so I'm gonna put this a piece here. So really you just need a piece of Melon Mambo that is the full size of a card front to, to cover these up to make them solid. But I forgot to cut that out. All right, let's put that right there and let's see what it looks like. There we go. See how I wanted that to look solid? Okay, so now I've cut a little bit of that beautiful DSP that I talked to you about a minute ago. One, I think it's a one inch, let's go a little bit higher, one inch by four and a fourth. And then we're going to attach these with glue dots, kind of overlapping a little bit, a little, little off kilter, if you will. Let's see, in this one, we'll put, how about over there like that? All right, now I'm using something that has sold out, but I have a feeling you guys have these already at home. These are basic jewels. And don't worry, if you don't have them, they are in the new catalog. In a, in a reconfigured, well, I pulled the adhesive off that one, a reconfigured um, way. They're great, they just don't have these long strips anymore. Which, I never use those. Do you guys use those? Well, I just am not doing a very good job of getting these off today. All right, so we would put these little jewels in the center of each one. And you can also do some little jewels kind of over to the side, kind of like they're floating around like that. Okay, so there we have that. All right, let's do some stamping. And the sentiment I am using says to think of you is to smile. So I'm gonna cut that. You know what I thought? I already had that circle, but I'm not seeing it, so we're just gonna stamp it again. And we also need this circle right here. So this is two of these framelits. We're gonna use, hmm, let's see, the one with the diamonds, that's this one, and the other one that doesn't look like a soccer ball, but it is the same shape. Now we also need the circle to go around it, okay? All right, so we do need the big shot again. Let's bring it back over. And put this like that. And, oops, where did my middle one go? There, oh, wait a minute, I grabbed the soccer ball. You're done, soccer ball. All right, let's see, put this one here. And there, like that. Now, the question is, do I have a framelit set out big enough for that? I do not. We'll use a punch, because I don't want to have to go all the way to my cabinet. But, if you have your circle framelits out, just cut that out with the matching circle framelits. All right, oops, and I forgot to use my, my uh, dryer sheet, didn't I? All right, so with your dye brush, just get all of those little guys to come out. And we're gonna move the big shot again and grab a punch. Keeping it real, we're pretending like we're live today. All right, there we go. One and a half inch will fit perfectly. Okay, now dimensionals, dimensionals right here. We're gonna put one of these guys like this and this guy. We're gonna overlap him a little bit like that. We wanna cover up that dimensional though so you don't see it. And last but not least, very vanilla, thick baker's twine. It's on the retired list. Grab it when you can because it'll be gone soon. Okay, let's cut off those legs. And I'm gonna slide it over here and move it up. And I'm gonna put it in between these two. Let's see, do we have it? Let's shorten it a little bit. Beautiful, I love this card. All right, let's make a clean sweep and look at it compared to Berry Burst. There you go, you can see them 
in both the Melon Mambo and the Berry Burst to kind of compare. That uh, Lemon Lime Twist looks great with both those colors. Okay, last project I saved is my very favorite. It is our mini treat bag, and this thinlet is not retiring, yay! It looks like this, and we are going to cut them out, which I already did. I'm using Berry Vanilla, and the reason I chose Berry Vanilla is because the neutral in our DSP is Berry Vanilla. That's the only reason I chose to use Berry Vanilla. All right, so it's going to go together like this, but we're going to cut out a little bit of that inlet, and we're going to use... You know, sometimes if you drop your, your thinlets, all the little bits will fall out. Did you know that? Or is that just what I've learned from dropping them on the floor? All right, it doesn't matter which two we use, but I'm just going to use these two right here because they're handy. The mini treat bag is great. It holds a Kit Kat bar that will help you determine the size. Um, today I'll show you. I have some little gourmet gum in there. All right, so I want to make sure that I have centered this as well as I can because we're going to put some stickers around the outside and they barely fit on here. Uh oh, we need a dryer sheet. That'll be so much better if I use the dryer sheet. And don't throw your dryer sheets away because you've used them once, guys. They will use, I can get eight, nine, ten cuts out of them. All right, I think that's centered. Cross your fingers. I know, if you want to make sure for sure that it's centered, just use a, a ruler. So that you'll be exact. All right, let's see how many of these stick. All right, we do need our dye brush. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And some of these tiny ones, I still need to use my piercer to get those out. Okay, let's move all these out of the way. I've got lots of little doodads all over the place. All right, we're going to put a piece of, let me score this so we can see exactly where we're supposed to be. I'm going to put a piece of Melon Mambo cardstock behind this cutout so it will be pink like that. And then let's see. Oh, I better look and make sure I'm doing this right. Yes. Okay. Sometimes I do this wrong and then I have to recut everything. Let's go all the way down and we're going to set this right here along that score line. Okay, fold it in, fold it in like that. Now you can do this one, the inside one, you can do it first or you can do it last. It just depends on do you want that little, that little thing on the inside or the outside. Looks like mine was cut a little crooked. You see that down there? All right, if that happens, just take your scissors and trim it off. Hmm, why isn't this sticking? Oh, my fast fuse didn't even work. All right, there we go. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to use those um, vinyl stickers that I was talking to you about. They are right here. Put them back here. Oops. And one of our gold tassels. So here are the sticker sheets. You get four of them in your packet, your package. And I'm going to use this one. And I want to tell you word to the wise. The first time I did this, it has a center thing. Make sure you take that out. First time I did it, when I was taking that out, I dropped it down onto my little treat bag. And guess what? It does not come off. So there was a lot of torn paper and angry words coming from me. So be careful. Um, and then this little circle. Be very careful when you put them down. Okay, now we're going to use one of the little stamped images from the stamp set. I'm using this one right here in Melon Mambo. And this just really adds so much, I think. You could do this with any kind of colors. I think that this, this gold lends itself. I, I was thinking, you know, of a wedding. You could put a gift card in here. Oops, I off the mark there. Um, or a birthday, you know, maybe a 40th, 50th birthday. It's kind of fancy. I'm going to go all the way around, try not to rush and make a mess. Luckily, our photopolymers show us exactly where we're stamping. Okay, so there we have the front. Now inside, let me show you what I have. It's this gum. You get it, um, 
I've seen it at Target. I'm sure it's other places too. But an oatmeal pie cookie fits really well in here too. Now to add a little bit extra, I got a gold binder clip. And we're going to clip it right there. But let's do enjoy today. And if I, oh yay, here it is. I can find what I'm prepared. A little one inch, very vanilla circle. And then we're going to use that same very vanilla and gold natural ribbon. Tie us a bow. Like that. And cut those little legs at angles. And then get yourself a glue dot. Actually, we're going to do the, the little, what is this called? A tassel. <laughs> I just drew a blank. And I'm just going to add it right there. And then a glue dot right there. And I want that tassel over to the side so that my sentiment isn't covered up, which I'm also getting another glue dot. And I'm going to just kind of put it. Let's see, like that. Maybe we should put the sentiment first, or the tassel first, and then the sentiment, and then the bow. Let's try that. I honestly don't remember what I did. So tassel, sentiment, bow. Yes, perfect. All right, and we clip it on. And you could even attach the gift card onto that so that when they pull that up, they see the gift card. All right, so there, let's look at our projects again. Remember, this is all available May 1st, and the project sheets will be listed on my blog and my Facebook page, and there will be a hostess code. If you want to order this bundle in conjunction with this video, that hostess code will be available for a week, and I'll send you a pack of dimensionals as a thank you. All right, you guys, thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Let me know if you have questions. Bye.